Hey guys, welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Tiana. Today I did a makeup look for you guys. It's this look right here. Winged eyeliner with a little bit of gold on my lids. Slight contouring and a bit of highlight. Not too much because it's really hot outside, so I figured the sun would do enough highlight for me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and be on the lookout for more videos coming soon this week. Bye! As always, before I apply my makeup, I apply my Burt's Bees lip balm in Vanilla Bean. This is my all-time favorite foundation. It's the L'Oreal Truth Match MW7, which is Warm Caramel. This next step is different from my first makeup video. I now apply the foundation directly on my hands and rub it over my face as if it were a moisturizer. I found out this way actually spreads my makeup more evenly and not patchy as if I were to use a brush initially. I just continue to work the foundation all over my face, down my neck, and also by my ears just to make sure everything is blended well. I didn't completely neglect my brushes, I still use it to lightly dot all over my face and then fill in in circular motion spots that my hands didn't quite get to. Next is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Nude. I use this to conceal my under eyes because I tend to have dark circles. I also use it down by my chin, above my forehead, and on the bridge of my nose. Once again, my fingers are coming into play using to blend in my concealer, just lightly dabbing my fingers. You don't want to be too harsh and pull your skin. To my HD set and forget setting powder in the color banana. I like the color banana because I have a yellow undertone to my skin, so when it sets, I don't have that awkward white cast, but a more evenly blended set. While my powder sets, I also like to prime my eyelids with my Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance Primer. I just lightly cover my eyelids with it so it sets right before I apply the eyeshadow. I like to brush my eyebrows out just so I can follow the natural shape of my eyebrows so I'm not forcing them to be in a shape that they naturally don't fall in. Now to start filling in my eyebrows, use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I'm in the color Dark Brunette. Once again, I like to fill out the outsides of my eyebrows just so I get the shape that I like. And then once I get that, I like to fill in the rest of my brows very lightly you don't want to go in too harsh because you can always add on once you do it too dark it's kind of hard to fix a mistake without starting over
Next, you're just gonna wanna brush out what you just filled in. You don't wanna have too harsh of a lines. You want everything to blend in naturally so it looks like your real brow hair. I've had this stuff for so long, I don't even have a label anymore, but it's my L'Oreal Tinted Brow Gel. Once again, the color Dark Brunette. I use this to lay my brow hairs flat, but also fill in the spots that my pencil didn't quite get. Me personally, I like to brush my eyebrows out when I have them wet just so they fall correctly in the place that I want them to. Once it's dry, it's kind of hard to really move them in the direction that you want them to be in. Clearly I was not liking how my eyebrows came out. I noticed underneath my arch on my left eyebrow, it was way too thick. I just didn't like it at all, so I'm sitting here trying to fix everything. Absolute partner in crime when it comes to messing up the makeup is a Q-tip. It has been my lifesaver when it comes to eyeliner, shadows, pencils, you name it, lipstick, all of it. Now that me and my eyebrows have finally came to an agreement on how they should be, I just brushed them out one more time. Now it's time to dust all of that setting powder off your face so you don't want to look too cakey. One of my favorite palettes is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. It's a bunch of neutral, so I absolutely love it. I start by using the first color, which is Virgin, to prime my lids before I start with all the other colors. The very first color I'm going to use for my crease is the color Buck. I use a fluffy brush just to start with my crease, just to darken it up and add some depth to it. I rack back into my crease with the color Hustle. We're gonna deepen up just some more to add some real definition to it. This is my absolute favorite part with the color half fake. I'm gonna dip a eyeshadow brush into it. It's a flat brush because we're gonna be using it on our lids. And with the lids, you always wanna use a flat brush so it's easier to apply the shadow to it. Once again, with that fluffy brush we used, we're going to go with the color Naked just to blend in the previous color we used on the lid to make everything blended and look a little bit more natural.
once again in the color virgin we're going to use that to lightly highlight our brow bone Don't be afraid to use your hands. I've honestly been using my hands a lot more to blend everything out and I've been loving the results. Just make sure you wash your hands before you do that because you don't want to spread any germs all over your face. Next to my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner, we're going to do a little cat eye. What I learned for the absolute best results when it comes to doing my wing eyeliner is to with my eyes open. You can actually physically see what it's going to look like when the results are done. And instead of closing your eyes, tugging on your eyelid, making them more prone to wrinkles and everything like that. And that way you can find the natural shape of your eye instead of forcing something that it doesn't exist. Also I like to do is go over my liquid eyeliner with a gel. I'm using my Rimmel London gel eyeliner in the color black with the angled flat brush. All we're gonna do is go right over our previous eyeliner that we did just to darken it up and I find this makes my eyeliner last all day. I wore it a look for a 12 hour shift and when I got home, it was still there. Just to really have a nice defined eyeliner, I take another brush. This is like a pointed eyeliner brush. I use it to go right over the same eyeliner I just did with my Rimmel Linen Gel. My current mascara is on my all-time favorite L'Oreal Telescope in, and I just tried this NYX mascara eyeliner. It's a bigger brush, so I feel like it grabs a lot for the hairs. But as far as my telescopic goes, it gives every individual lash their even coating. So I like going back and forth between really tiny brushes and really big brushes. Time to chisel my face with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This palette literally smells like cocoa. It's amazing. Everyone does not have the same shaped nose. Meaning the way I contour my nose is not the same way you're going to contour your nose. You want to analyze your nose and make sure you follow the natural shape of it. Just so it's a beautiful, flawless end result. I'm not going for a too chisel look today, but I'm mixing the two dark colors just to contour my cheekbones, my forehead, because you know your girl got a big forehead, and underneath my jawline.
This is my holy grail, the Anastasia Beverly Hill Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. Let's look at it. Let's pause this video and just look at it. The only color I'm using today is the 143. I didn't want a too intense highlight, but just something subtle, not too much, and I lightly go over my cheekbones with it. Okay. And the very last step is my NYX Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color London.